Welcome to McMahon Park in Middletown, New Jersey. There's a few baseball fields here. There's a little park for kids. People play softball a lot. Probably Little League and stuff. Uh, where are we? Oh, the trail. I'm gonna show you. There's this trail. It's the Henry Hudson Trail. Where you can ride bikes or walk. Walk your dog. Oh, sure. There's Kingsburg High School. On the other side. And I'll show you. Over there is the old roller skating rink. On the other side of this field. And I'll show you that. Because that is the spot where the crime occurred. Actually, you can see this trail a little bit. Uh, I'll show you this way. This trail goes through this way. And all the way down. Nah, yeah, it goes all the way down. It goes all the way down. From there to there. Just through. It just goes right through this, where this park is at. Now over here, it's old roller rink. In the summer, it's nice because the trees cover the area, so it's kind of like isolated. And the sun shines over here. You can get some sun. People can walk through and be nosy, but not everybody is really nosy. But yeah, this is a spot. I kind of I used to walk around the whole perimeter of this. Fence. Sometimes I would just walk back and forth in the back because that way I don't draw much attention to myself. And I just be doing calisthenics. Um, just be out in the, outside in the sun. Walk back and forth because walking is a good exercise. Running is good. But sometimes walking's even better. I was just walking back and forth and usually mostly just doing push-ups. I could do pull-ups over here. I'll show you this spot where I do pull-ups. I, I just be walking back and forth from there to there. Now this is where the police, the police are usually sometimes back here. Like they, they're just back there sometimes and they saw, they would see me, at least one officer would see me just exercising back here. And he asked me one day what I was doing and I told him. And other than that, they, they don't really bother me. But this is where they pulled up at and they got out of their car like, you know, like it was a shootout or something. So that's how I knew something was up. And I was just like being careful because I felt like for a second that my, I wasn't safe. But sometimes I could do pull up, see that? Or right there, I could do some pull-ups. I could do like a shoulder down, stand on my hands and do shoulder exercise. Over here, just got some nice graffiti that I appreciate. Good job, whoever did that. But anyway, they keep dirt back here, I think for the baseball field. But other than that, the only people that really come back here, all the people walk their dog out here, they play softball. But other than that, the only people that really come out is to walk at Pat. Now, somebody uh, came out. Nobody's out here today, which is, it's nice for me, you know, because then I just, just exercise, you know, walk back and forth, clear my head, you know. So, one of the reasons the police knew, the officer knew that I didn't have a gun was because it's just not logical. I'm the only one, I'm always out here. There's nobody else out here, so like, what's the point? Somebody walked past, they were walking their dog, and it's like, a big dog, and when I saw the person, with the, the, their big dog, they just kept staring at me, like, I don't know if it's because I had black glove in my hand, because I was, I was like walking back and forth from corner to corner like that, like I usually do. I just had the gloves in my hand, and they were black gloves, but I wasn't like holding it up. It's like, 
who does that? Like, just walks back and forth in the park with a gun, they were gloves. <laughs> this person, they just kept staring at me. Like, most people, like, some people stare, and I'm like, I don't even always say something, I'm just like, get annoyed, like, or look, watch them, because like, why are they staring at me? Sometimes, not everybody. Some people don't even take one look back here. I'm not gonna bother them, like, they could, like, if they saw me or something, like, I'll just be like, walking back and forth, like, uh, I'm exercising, you know? And people see me at the school back here, like, I think maintenance people, maybe? Like, people that cut the grass and stuff? They know I, I'm always out here. If they, I don't know if anybody's outside now, but it's kind of cold today. I'm like, what the? This guy is fucking, he just keeps staring at me. Like, they're looking for trouble. I was like, they're looking for trouble. I was like, what? I reached my arms up. Like, I was, <laughs> I was kind of like threatened because this dude's got a, a, a huge dog that's like almost the size of me. And I'm like, oh, I'm gonna have to fight this. This guy's looking for trouble. I'm gonna have to fight him and his dog. So my attitude was like, you know, like I had to defend myself, you know? Like I had to defend myself, but I don't have a weapon. I didn't, I never had a weapon. I brought a bicycle here and had a, a iced tea, or probably an iced tea from Dunkin' Donut and the gloves, that's it. And I had my shirt off because I was just ensured that I had my shirt off because it was sunny outside and I was trying to get some sun. And I just raised, I lift my arms to my side. I was like, what? Like, what? <laughs> Something like that. Like, because the person just kept staring at me. It was rude. It was just really rude. And then when they, as they were walking away, I was like, I don't know. In the guy's face, I was like, he's just still looking at me. Like, all the way till he passed, like, those hills over there. And probably after those hills, like, it's just blocked his vision. And I was like, man, this guy's looking for trouble. Next thing you know, that's when the, a couple minutes later, that's when the police showed up. And it's like, uh, put, you know, what are you doing back here? Or something like, come here, put your hand, keep your hands up and, and you know, blah, 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 you couldn't imagine. And then there's the other two cops came out. He saw that I didn't have a gun or anything in my hand or like anything. They looked around after, but the other cops came out and you know, at least one of them was holding an assault rifle. Then when he came up, he shouldered it. But I know at first they, they thought I had a gun. It wasn't just like, you know, they were they were prepared to, to shoot somebody because they thought there was somebody armed and dangerous, which there wasn't. And that's the big issue here. Now, I was just like, man, this guy's looking for trouble. So I didn't know what to say. I tried to explain what happened and I even paid a lawyer to find out what happened later because I didn't know who it was and I thought it was the best way, which it probably was. The lawyer sent a bunch of letters out to ask them some kind of Freedom of Information Act, Oprah or something like that, where they let you know, you know, what happened. So I ended up later on with a police report and it turned out that the story that the police had of what happened was basically the same story where it was like, oh, I lift my hand and I said, what? to so the person, which like I said to them in the, in the moment when they were questioning me. And that's how I knew it was the same person because it was in the police report. It was just somebody walking their dog on the trail back here, a big freaking dog <laughs> that said I had a bullet in my hand. Just to finish up my story for now, and then I'll do some push-ups or whatever exercise. I'll show you what I do. And, um, yeah, I just been uncomfortable. This is September. I just been uncomfortable coming back here. Where it's like at first I was like, oh, this spot is great. Like it's a great spot. Even the police were like, oh, it's nice to work out back here. I was like, yeah, nobody bothers me. Blah blah. blah. It's just some some people like looking for trouble. It really, that was the worst one. But hopefully, I got my yellow gloves. They can't be mistaken. If possibly if somebody mistake them, it was a mistake possibly. Um, I kind of doubt it, but I'm just gonna play it safe and just use a yellow glove and hopefully everything will be good.